To write the name for CuNO32, we first need to recognize that we have this nitrate here. This is a polyatomic ion, so we have nitrate. We actually have two of them bonded to the copper. Copper is a metal, specifically a transition metal. So we have our metal, copper, and these two nitrate ions here. Metal and these nonmetals. That makes this an ionic compound. So we can use these rules here to write the name for CuNO32. First, we'll write the name for the metal. That's the copper here. So C-O-P-P-E-R. Then we write the name for the polyatomic ion. That's the nitrate. Good one to remember. Lowercase n. And so far, we have copper nitrate for the name for CuNO32. But copper, that's a transition metal. So it can have a different charge depending on what it's bonded to. So here it's bonded to these two nitrate ions. The nitrate ion, the whole thing, has an ionic charge of 1 minus. Since we have two of them, 2 times 1 minus, that's 2 minus. The copper has to have an ionic charge of 2 plus. So because of that, we call this copper 2, Roman numeral 2, nitrate. And that 2 here, the Roman numeral, that's because of this 2 plus ionic charge on the copper. This is Dr. B with the name for CuNO32, copper 2 nitrate. Thanks for watching.